Comedian Phil Jupitus is as British as unmanned service stations or drizzle, making him the perfect companion for my sojourn. Hello, Phil Jupitus. Would Richard. you like to join me for a UK-based holiday on this recumbent tandem? Seems like the thing to do, my friend. Then for safety's sake, put on a helmet. OK. All right. Yep. You know how a recumbent tandem works, well, right? Well, yeah. All right. Ah, ah. Go. All right. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh that's a shame. Yeah. That's a bit weavy. Eee. Unlike a standard tandem, the rearmost cyclist on this bike takes the brunt of the legwork. Oh, come on. So it's mainly Phil powering us through the Garden of England towards our first vacation stop. Historic Leeds Castle, Phil. Not in Leeds. That's a category mistake. Mm. It's in Kent. I mean, that's why I was late. Yes. You're dazzled by its beauty. I can see joy flooding your face. Really, yeah. But how do we document this? How do we make this experience real? Watercolours? No, we need to photograph it with the latest in digital technology. All right. And here they are, three cameras that will revolutionise the way you capture historic monuments. First up are these binoculars of the future. Whoa! Binoculars? Yeah but you can record 3D images. Ah, this is what we want. I can only take 2D photos, which is a bit of a downer, but it's made up for by the GPS system. Do GPS? That? GPS. It's a revolution. I can really see that third dimension. Yes. Binoculars may well be as 3D as eyes, but I feel they're somewhat unidirectional. I need a gadget that can offer me a broader range. The panoramic pod. Taking a panoramic photograph involves moving your phone from side to side while navigating an arrow across a guideline. But how in the name of all that's right can you avoid photo ruining hand wobble? How? The problem is... Yeah. I mean, I mean I'm not that baroque with my movement, but okay. it's, there's still an unsteadiness. Mm -hmm. Not with this. Look at it. That's remarkably steady. Yes, the word you're looking for has two W's and an O in the middle. Mmm. I like the panoramic pod and it gives you that sweeping view, but I want something a bit more sweepy. OK, well, this is dynamite. From a gadget that rotates your phone for you to a high-tech camera that can photograph everything at once, the Ricoh Theatre. Wow! It's a huge 360-degree view of the castle. It's 360, it's everything. Next is a camera device, which means you don't even have to leave the car park. The drone. This is the Phantom DJI 2. That's right, that face is appropriate. Oh. We've applied for special authorization to fly here from Leeds Castle Air Traffic Control. And what's more, we received that authorization. Oh, look at that go. This remote control quadrocopter is so insultingly easy to use that after minimal assembly, you can fly it straight from the box. The camera can maintain Wi-Fi connection to your phone for up to 300 metres and it has a smooth hover mode to give you steady shots. Don't look at the castle, no. look here. OK, let's take in the beauty. Yeah. Can you swivel um, the camera or do you swivel yeah. the helicopter? You swivel the helicopter. I'm no airwolf. So OK. Look at this. This is that. Yeah, but here it's just so much more digital. It's interesting. What's your assessment of 1, 2, 10? 10 being most blown away, 1 being just very blown away. Do you not have an 11? Because my socks are off. Good. Let's walk off with purpose. <laughs> 